Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Sky 35 uh, Saturday, where we're going to do some chitting and chatting and all that stuff. We're going to talk about the week that was, the week that will be. And uh, my topic when I get to it. So the week that was, uh, Sunday, thought I had a great guest. Uh, one of the few times where I've ever heard, I mean, we always learn it, but Nat's man said man i learned a lot as soon as we ended the recording i did too but man did i get humbled that day um didn't have many viewers haven't had many viewers on it and i think i feel bad for it my guest uh brad who i think high high highly of i think everybody knows that uh the man knows his football knows his football cards. He knows the players inside out, who plays what. He just can rattle stuff off and uh, and, and always willing to teach. He's been on a lot of channels here lately, um, and I'm glad for him. Uh, but I just felt bad. It, it felt I felt bad for uh, just, I don't know. He took his time to come on my channel. And I feel like I wasted his time, and I'm and I feel bad for that. Um, but you know, I will keep on chugging. Uh, I just got to get better to make sure I maintain viewership. Uh, there's some soul searching. Um, I didn't do it. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. So I did. Uh, I thought it was a great show. I really did. Um, I, I'm not a football pure. I. You know, I like watching it. I watch the game. I know about the Cowboys. I watch college. I used to know all about college football. I uh, kind of fell out of it during the COVID years uh, a little bit. Uh, but and also how they do things. I get tired of seeing the same four teams, five, six teams, how they do the championship. I think it's a travesty to the rest of the league. I don't think it's fair. I'm very much on fairness. Uh, so I, I, a lot of that together, but I, I really want to thank Brad hundred percent for coming on, answering our questions and just rolling with my show, man. Um, it was tough for me because I could see my viewership. I could see my viewer count. I mean, I think y'all all know that we can see it. And uh, it just, I don't know. And uh, Nats may can see it too. We talked about it, and we're going to change some things up, maybe who we're trying to get to our channel or get to our show. Um, I think I rested on my laurels and thought I had the same group and was building on that group, but obviously it doesn't take much to lose that, and I learned it last week, and I don't blame anybody for going somewhere else uh, to watch anything else. I just have to be better. Uh, you know, I just got used, to, I've done 115, 20 shows. So I got just used to pretty much Sunday night being that hour being dedicated uh, to me. And I wish other people, I wish we would work together more. So that way, if I knew somebody was going to be before me or after me, I would make sure not only did my show not run over, but prelude into their show and throw it to them, just like channels or anything else. I think we need to work together and not against each other. Not, I don't, I don't know what else to say. So, you know, um, I just gotta be better. better. Uh, next was Wednesday. Um, showed some PC stuff. That was all a few things I bought. Like I said, I'm on a strict allowance to myself. Um, you know, this week's my allowance this time was paying off graded and PSA DNA stuff I got in. Yep, I said I got PSA DNA. Um, so I'll be getting that hopefully not by this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday to show off. Um, I did go to a show today, which is going to be what I want to talk about. Um, 
So I'll have that to show Wednesday um, and talk about it on Wednesday as well. But I'll talk about the show today here in a minute. Um, and then I did not do a, a Thursday show. And I didn't. I did it because I just didn't have anything on my mind. I, it was really... I'm still, I, I got things going on in my, I, you know, I, I, I over, I got stuff going on and, uh, and it, it gets to me and then it affects me in, in my whole, whole everywhere where I'm supposed to be relaxed. And, and I just, if I could have much Thursday, then I, at work Thursday and I was like, oh, I could have done a hundred different things. Uh, so I'm going to try not to, uh, you know, Thursday is going to be maybe a little hit or miss. Wednesday, maybe if I don't have something to do, show, I, I just not going to do a show just to do it. Uh, but you know, Saturday, Sunday, it's going to pretty much be my days where I'm definitely doing something. Really want to do Wednesday. I got something else cooked up, which uh, I will talk about it later. Uh, which again, um, might not be for everybody, but it's going to be for me. Um, so <clears throat> with that being said, we got today and today, uh, went to a show in Raleigh at the North Carolina state fairgrounds at NC state to school, which is right there at it, but, uh, it's the, the actual state fairgrounds. So this was done by Tidewater cards or something. Um, I'll never go to anything ever that they uh, sponsor again. Um, I'll say that right now. And I will keep repeating that. And hopefully nobody, if other people, we got it. Uh, there's another group down here that does it. That does Hickory and Raleigh and also Charlotte. And also here in this town too. It's a hundred times better. A hundred times better. Uh, yes, they all want to make money, but you know, they know by treating their guests and their people at the show with the utmost respect, uh, and I'll get to more why they know they got repeat customers and they know that's how you build a community. I, this guy, so I go to a state fair. If you ever been to a state fairground and this one's not a Iowa was huge. Um, this one's pretty big. They got a sky thing that goes across, and but it's not the biggest fairgrounds I've ever been to. And they got built. They got buildings. So I went to. I was just following everybody else, and I went to the buildings, and they had a flea market going on. So I saw that going on. Went over there. Um, the flea market wasn't really going because it was rainy and cold, but there was like an actual like stadium um, over there. Uh, which was having a jiu-jitsu tournament. Um, then I went over to another building I saw a line at. And that was a Volkswagen thing. Then it was some body piercing and tattoo thing going on. Nothing for ball cards. And then another building that was nothing going on. Um, so I was like, okay. And I rode back to the other side. There was a building, a round building, behind a fence that was covered in bushes looked like on an off like where you know the maintenance people would be at and it was a warehouse back there and that's and it was a circle building um something you would see out of a horror movie or alien movie uh was sitting back there and i you know i talked to a guy a vendor he he said he did that show before He'd never go there because it's too small. And I went in there. First off, I went to the, the thing and no, nothing telling me how much to pay, nothing. I'm just standing there looking at the two guys. The one guy that runs it standing there with the same uh, jersey I saw him wearing at the last one. Now, that went to the last show was in uh, here in Winston before summer. I mean, before, summer, before Christmas, week before Christmas. They're both just standing there. And then they started talking to each other. I'm still standing there looking at them. And finally I said, how much is it? I, 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 I'm i sitting here. My, 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 I take, so my, my allowance I took was $200. I had that in my hand. I go, how much is it? And they just went $5. And I went, y'all need to put signs up. 
And he goes, excuse me? And I was like, y'all need to put signs up on where y'all are at. I was like, there was nothing. There's nothing at the Main Street. There was nothing inside the, the State Fair anywhere. You're hidden. And he's looking around at all the people. And I'm like, there is even more people out there looking for y'all. Riding around, walking, looking. And I'm like, you have one sign that's in between two cars out here pointing at where you're at. Oh, we had four or five signs out there at the last one, but somebody stole them. Okay. They're $25 a pop. Okay. That's a, I went, that's a cost of doing business. And then he made an announcement that it was a thousand people there in this little bitty room. I wish the fire department would have came there to shut that place down before the thousand people were there because the vendors were on top of each other. You barely had a walk. So it was a circle building and they put the tables in a circle. So you had a inner, inner circles. In the middle was this pop up. If you go to, I know it was down here and I might have seen him as Shane Tilly too. It's a Pokemon stand. They always bring their glass things. It wasn't as big, but they took up the whole middle. And it was just rung around them. And it was so crowded. You couldn't, it was all, it was impossible for people to be on either side and then walk through the middle. I would just stand there and just stand off. Cause I'm a big guy. I'm six, two and big. And if, Anybody with average or above average male was on either side of the walkway. You were not, I wasn't going to get through. Little kids were squeezing through because they're going to squeeze through wherever they can get. Um, and then again, and then on top of that, it was the same stuff. It was, I haven't been to a show since before Christmas and it's the same. I, I, I bought this here and they, all of it. I, I know it's in a value box probably. I did get two uh, two hanger boxes that were released this week. So vendors had them there pretty reasonable. You know, it won't matter badly over price. I don't even think they were overpriced. Maybe a dollar or two over what they're at the store. Um, but so yeah, I, I mean vendor boxes for me is where I, most people are like, oh, I don't need, uh, why go if you're going to vent, uh, no, in, I said vendor box, you know, value boxes. Because that's where my 90s inserts, that's where uh, a lot, I want Pete Alonzo's and David Wright's, that's where I'm going to find those. I'm not going to find them in a uh, case, in cases. If I do, it's going to be, you know, autographs and stuff, which I am looking for. I mean, uh, I just didn't see much today in, in cases. And most of it, it was a lot of basketball. That was King, but that's, you're in, you're in Raleigh. So this is the, in Raleigh. I'm in one area, right, in North Carolina. I went to Raleigh, hour and a half from me. Um, and that's the thing. I drove an hour and a half in traffic. NC State was playing a home basketball game against Clemson. Right there where we were at, it was a lot of people. Um so I had, there was a lot of traffic over there. And then trying to find your way in, it, it, I, was, I was pretty upset. Um, and then it was so darn crowded in there. And it, it, the guy just didn't care. He was just caring about how many people were coming through the door. There were empty table vendor tables where vendors didn't show up. If he would have just took the time to go in there and remove those vendor tables, there would have been enough room to walk around. The vendors were moving their tables away from the outside wall just so they can put their cases on the table and be able to stand behind their table. That made even less room. And it, that was horrible. If you if you don't have the space, don't have that many tables. Charge a little bit more, do what you got to do, but make it easier to shop. And if people are making deals, which I don't care, you know, I don't mind that stuff. It, then it was impossible. It was impossible. So I just kind of found two different, I found two good value places, sat down, and that's where I spent most of my time. Found a third for hockey, uh, talked to them for a minute, talked to a young man that had a cool Tom Wilson PMG. 
He knew he was at. He he said Tom Wilson's his favorite player, so he was over asking way too much for it, which is understandable. So he wants to pay for it, then they can. I just giggled. I was like, I don't blame you, man. Get that money. Uh, but he was selling other stuff. Uh, you know, it, we for a collector, I need people selling. But if you want us to go to the shows and, and compete against eBay and all these thousands of other places that I can sit online and get everything that was there, you have to make it reasonable. To, you got to make it convenient and reasonable to walk around. Hickory is plenty of room. Hickory's that guy that does that. Uh, God, what is that name of there? I can't remember a promoter for that, but they do an excellent job. I think it's huge. This place wasn't even half the size of one of the rooms that Hickory, um, and it, you could just tell he just didn't care. And I, you know, and <laughs> that's where you want to sit there and smack that guy and tell him there's no place for this and for you and his hobby. Flip the table. That's what I wanted to do so bad. Uh, I haven't had a good week, and I was ready to flip that. I was so this was supposed to be my fun time today, and uh, I had fun looking through the boxes. Don't get me wrong, but man, it you want convenience. You want it. You don't have to go hot. At any four weeks or something, it's going to be out on one of the big rooms or whatever. Good for him. I ain't going. Him and finance dad can shop together. Um, that's about it for that. I, I just, you know, I rode home. I did stop somewhere and eat somewhere I haven't ate before. Um, it, you know, I uh, got some good barbecue and fried chicken. I had to try both. I, I'm a fried chicken connoisseur. This is a, something I've been wanting to share with y'all too. A couple of weeks. So I like shell. Um, Shells, um, Magnet, One Touches is the name of the company. Shells, I think it's the name of it, something like that. I have it here somewhere. Anyway, uh, I really like their One Touches. So I went on there and they were, for every one thing, for if you bought something, they were giving away these cases for free. So I was like, I have to check this out. Um, I will find this company's name. I thought I had it on here. I don't, but anyway, so I was like, okay, let me see what this case is. Well, it comes with this little back. I don't even know. I put this in there. It's got the, I got the, this thing snaps in here. So. I have a PSA with a perfect fit snapped in here, and then this snaps on the back. And I was like, what in Sam Hill? And they make up for different ones. PSA, SGC. Uh, I mean, they, they make up for, for all of the, you. You picked what company you wanted. And I was just like, so now I'm, one of the reasons why you, when you ask somebody, hey, why do you grade? And always one of the first things, oh, it's to get them protected. It'll be in this hard slab. And then we put this cheap sleeve over it so the slab stays neat. Understand all that. I can replace the, the sleeve at any time. But now I have another protective case. So now I can put it in my other bigger case to carry it around with. <laughs> I'm ranting today and I'm getting something. I do we need this? Please tell me if we need this or not. I got to try to get my card out of here, by the way. Uh, I'm sure I do. I just got to get a flat piece to pop it out, get, get in there. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm sitting here going, what is the significance of this? I, you know, I've seen it where they got the this same piece, but it kind of pops in and it's got just a protector molding with a stand so it's a all one all in one stand okay it's not really all you know enclosed I, I get that but i have stands i've bought thousands i got bags of stands i i'm sure not everybody does but uh a lot of people do and i just i, I don't i don't understand it it takes 
uh, it's just, I mean, do we need a case for a case that goes into another case? <sighs> All right. So that's enough for me for today. I, you know, um, my week, I, I'm going to have a better week this week, come hell or high water. Uh, so, uh, I, one of the problems is I'm having some aches and pains and trying to get to see a doctor is really hard. Uh, but, but hopefully by the end of this week, I'll be better. But anyway, um, let's see. This week, tomorrow night, me and Adsman, I think we we're going to talk World Baseball uh, Classic. I was going to try to get somebody on to talk some international baseball, but after last week, you know, if it's going to be a taping, I'm, I might as well just do it myself. I, I me and Nats, man, we, we could just do it. I don't, you know, unless I see something change, I, I just, you know, and, and this is not a special plead for pity or anything. This is just me stating facts. Um, so, uh, I, I don't want to ask somebody to come on and only have a couple of people watching. Um, I don't think it's fair to them to put their time out there. And, but I know it's recorded and a lot of people, well, it's recorded. I'll watch it later. Well, watching it later has not been the answer either. I, those numbers have drastically dropped too. Um, so if it's something for me, that's fine. I just don't want to, uh, ask other people to put their time and effort into it if it's not worth it. Uh, the next day I'm going to be starting this going to be mainly for me. And if other people enjoy it, I hope, I hope other people enjoy it. Um, then, uh, then, then more power to them. Uh, so Monday night, me and that's man, world baseball classic Wednesday. I'll be talking over my stack of, uh, cards that I got. Um, kind of how I'm doing that Thursday. I did pick up a couple of games today and stopped by a game store here in town. Uh, old school Sega Dreamcast. Love it. Uh, I finished a book, give a little book report, um, for Thursday and, uh, be back here on Saturday, hopefully with, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, another little showcase. Frank Thomas. I have to look, uh, Petey. David Wright? I don't know. But we'll do a showcase and uh, have, a, have a little fun. So until next time, like, share, tell a friend, subscribe, and we'll see you.